Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today I'm going to show you a little trick I learned from a book from Bill Gell and Mr. Excel, and it's how to incorporate subtotals when your data runs horizontally instead of vertically. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here I have just a very small uh, data range here showing uh, three salespeople uh, and their sales and commission for 2010, 2011, 2012, and 2013. And I want to insert subtotals after each year to subtotal up the sales and the commission and then add a grand total at the end. Now that's very simple to do using the subtotal feature in Excel when your data runs vertically. But when it runs horizontally, it's a little more challenging. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, we are going to highlight all the data here and copy it and then go down to a few cells below Then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control-Alt-V and that brings up the Paste Special dialog box. I'm going to choose Transpose which I can use the keyboard shortcut Alt-E and hit OK or hit Enter and Excel now transpose that data into a vertical list. From here I can go to data subtotal and add my subtotals. In this case at each change in year I want to use a sum function to subtotal both the sales and the commission. So all I need to do is hit OK and Excel has added those subtotals. Now one thing that's always frustrating with Excel, when it adds the, the final subtotal and the grand total, if you've incorporated borders, it doesn't put the borders down there. So I'm going to go ahead and select that to add the borders. Now while I have that highlighted, I'm going to copy it and go back to cell A1 and I'm going to paste it again with the transpose feature. So I'll hit Control alt v Alt-E and hit Enter. And now Excel has replaced the data I had there with the transposed data that included the subtotals that I had. Now I can highlight this data here, hit Alt H E A to remove it all, and then go back to Data, Ungroup, and Clear Outline. And the result is now I've incorporated a subtotal at each change in the year for both the sales and the commission plus a grand total at the end. And I'll just auto widen the cells so that it doesn't cover up any of the values. And now I have my final result. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.